Hey, we're going to be tackling part three of this three-part series on building the new yard gate with the fence, so stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. We're doing a three-part series. This is the third in uh, three parts and we're doing a, a project of building a, a gate with the fence. This is a building project series here on the homestead. So we're going to go ahead and finish it up and uh, try to get some cross braces in and uh, get some uh, weed barrier along with attaching the fence wire. So let's get the show on the road. Okay, I got my hinges on and the gates assembled with all the hardware on the corners. Uh, I'm just going to put a latch on and then I'm going to put a cross member on. So let's get the latch on first. Now I got the, the latch on and I'm able to put a lock on here so we can lock the gate closed, but I don't think I need to lock the gate closed over here. Uh, I just need to put a cross member up here to give this 10 foot long gate a little bit of more stability before I put the fencing on, but I got some super duper large hinges on this thing and it's designed to open out and uh, the primary reason is to get a truck through here. I'll be packing gravel in here and getting an access to the back side of my property from here so I can take produce or product feed up to the barn. Because we do intend on getting some milk goats or a milk goat. And maybe a couple other livestock. I don't know. I'm open.
Uh, now it's time to stretch the fence. I got my fencing staples. I got the hammer to set them in place. And I got a pipe wrench that I'm going to use to stretch the fence. Uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Now, the fence is stretched, at least the top part. Now I gotta do down the middle, and I still gotta tack uh, one here and down there and get that stretched. So, let's figure out to where the middle is, put one in place and stretch it.
Okay, um, the garden fence along this path is done. Now let's turn our attention towards the gate. I'm going to go ahead and cannibalize the old gate. We're going to take the screen off of that and then uh, put it on here. Now this is a nine foot wide gate. The original gate was 10 feet wide. Uh, so I'm going to have plenty of leftover to trim off on this screen. But we're going to mount this one on the inside, not the outside. So let's get that sucker mounted. Okay, I fixed that. Uh, the gate is done. The garden fence is done. I still have to paint. Uh, I'll do that later. And I've got to trim off these top poles and then lay in a painted piece of uh, two by four over the top to cap it off and uh that way it'll strengthen up the top boards a little bit because this the top boards gives the fence some rigidity so uh when i stretched the fence the poles didn't give in this type of soil and mind you my soil is so shallow i had to build a or dig a bigger hole and pack in two uh, bags of that uh, quickrete to be able to cement it in and make it nice and stable. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this three-part series on building the garden fence and the yard gate. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Uh, please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by if you aren't subscribed already, please do. I don't charge, neither does YouTube. And click that uh, bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them so you guys can be updated on the new adventures I'm embarking on here on the homestead. I've got a lot of more activities coming up. Please click that share button and share my videos on your social media platforms. That introduces our channel to a lot more guests who would, wouldn't otherwise know that we are here. Uh, you can follow me on social media. I am currently uploading to Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Blogger, Tumblr. Uh, I'm also on LinkedIn and Parlor.com and Facebook. Wow. I'm busy. <laughs> also, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. We'll see you guys again in the next adventure. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.